So I have a really quick one today. I'm animating a character um, for a class I'm taking at Animation Mentor, and I found that um, I want to uh, constrain a locator to the nose so I can track the nose. But to do that, I need to select a vertice, and I can't select the geometry. I can only select the controllers, which makes a lot of sense when you're animating. You don't want to be selecting geometry all the time. You just want those controllers. But sometimes you need to. So how do I access that geometry? Well, I'm going to go into my character. So here's the group. You're going to expand that and find the geo. So you're going to go geo. Anything with geo will be the geometry. Expand, 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 and you'll find the um, like the base geometry here. We've got the head, the shirt, the trousers, shoes, everything like that. I just need the head. So I'm going to select that geometry. Then I'm going to go to, you might be in channel, bo channel box. I'm going to go to the attribute editor on the right and expand the, on the first tab available, you're going to expand display and display might, um, look a little bit like that for you. You're gonna go down to drawing overrides, which is a subgroup in display, and you're going to enable overrides. Now, um, you might be in reference for the display type, go to normal, and at that point you can unselect and then try again to select it, and there you go, it's it's able to be selected. So I can grab any vertice I need and constrain to it, and then if I find this annoying and I want to go back, I just go back into the attribute editor and disable the overrides. And then I can't easily click on that geometry anymore. So that's how you do it. And um, this is really helpful too in reverse if you've, if you've uh, rigged a character and you don't want the geometry selectable anymore. So thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped somebody.